Brian. Uh, I'm really proud of that because uh, it will help us uh, launch when, when great artists like Eric launch their first albums, it will help us launch, uh, launch them on time. So give it up for Eric once more. <laughs> Alright, so uh, everyone makes mistakes. Uh, AOL made mistakes, <laughs> Time Warner made a mistake. Uh, when when AOL probably started uh, working on the deal itself, and Verizon started working on the deal itself, they probably thought it was a mistake as well. But in, in retrospect, I think it, it does make a lot of sense. And I'll tell you why. Simple reasons. Uh, Verizon controls tens of millions of nodes or cell phones, and they know exactly uh, where you are, even though in a, in a non-personally identifiable way, where you are, what you're doing, what apps you have, uh, what time of the day you're using certain apps, whether you are on the phone or not. Uh, for AOL, that's a, it's a very logical thing to have AOL, which is essentially an ad network, a giant publisher or a set of publishers. If you combine predictive analysis with, with the information that Verizon has access to uh, and, and put a giant publishing network on top of it, it can create, it can create, you need to be a believer, it can create value for customers and money. Thank you. Hey everybody, I'm Jared Seth. This is also known as Jared Evan Power on the internet. I am from the future. I have, I've built seven startups right now. I just put one out the past year because that's too damn early and I moved my wife out here and she hates my guts because it costs so much to move out here. So right now I'm looking for a job. Talk to you later. But, uh, so, uh, hold on, hold on. So basically, who likes the NSA? Who's like all about the NSA? Oh, this dude over here, yeah. So that's basically what you're describing is being built in this, what, $4.4 million billion dollar deal? It's just like, hey, the NSA is going to get more shit. Somebody's still using an AOL email account? Yeah, my dad is. What about your dad? <laughs> What's the deal here? It's like Yahoo, SBC, that made sense. It's still going on in that weird sort of way. Say purple right down the street, God bless you. It's, it's just one of those deals where I don't get it. I don't get the value. It, 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 like today, some dude from TechCrunch is like, hey, Virgin American is worth $1.2 billion, but this other company that does nothing has no hardware, it's worth double that. And here we're like looking at AOL for Verizon, they're gonna send out this to everybody now. I mean, then they're gonna have to put like a, a CD-ROM reader with my phone. So it's like... AOL, nobody loves AOL's uh, dialogue. I love America as well, but I don't like uh, America all my... <laughs> America Online's list is, a, is, a, is what started internet in this country for the for, for better or for worse. And I think that the company had lost its way uh, with some help, uh, smart engineers, smart uh, product people, smart designers. They have a they have a chance to to build something that's that's really uh, a combination of uh, something that adds value and it's structurally profitable. Nobody likes NSA and. At least these guys, uh, if, if they have control as a public company and so on, they can actually uh, create, create experiences, customer experiences in a way that does not really uh, impose on customers' privacy. If they do, then, then the whole deal doesn't make sense. The whole premise of the deal is that it, unlike NSA, uh, what can we do to access to harness information to create better products? I'd rather not see ads for uh, rider gowns. I'd rather see ads uh, as for the thing that I said, that I can mm -hmm. That's it, thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. I didn't get to go, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Who loves puppies and kittens? <laughs> <laughs> because, me too. It's, it's really fun that we have that in common. This doesn't have anything to do with that. And it's going to ruin that. They're going to ruin all of that. Now, me, personally, I don't want to see more advertising. I started two ad companies, and I kick myself in the ass every day. So wait, here, will you kick me? All right. <laughs> like, seriously, this, who wants companies to get bigger? A founder does, because it's awesome. Because you're like, yeah, I own like 50% of this thing. And, you know, everything is looking great. And, uh, Everybody else, maybe they can buy a new BMW. That's what happened to John over there, and he lost his round. I don't want that to happen to me. I don't want this deal to happen to any of us out here. I want us all to thrive and prosper because Americans 
greatest damn country on earth. And this deal has nothing to do with that. And it's going to ruin it. I don't even know. I don't even know. On my left! Good on!